that glorious sunrise that I strive to reach every school morning. And that's actually become the most wonderful side effect of having to do bus duty and get up early. And that's something that I've actually found so much peace of mind in being able to get up and see that sunset and greet it. And then there's something even right now, just closing my eyes and feeling the sun on my face and just taking a breath. And just grounding myself and that's actually how I found so much peace of mind um, a year ago Jeez, I was just you know horrible anxiety depression all this stuff and nothing has changed except everything's changed and that's my peace of mind my internal things and the same things that were going on that were causing me so much anxiety have dropped away oh, they don't cause me that distress anymore uh, the same situations that have popped up don't even faze me and it's amazing and it's looking at like this peace of mind and I wouldn't trade it for anything so then as I'm saying that I'm like would I really trade it for anything because there's still goals that I'm striving for that I haven't reached and it's like what do I have to do in order to mix it up and get those goals and the huge thing I keep coming back to is like I feel good and I feel my peace of mind and I get that every morning by looking out at the sunrise and then at the same time I don't want to be victim to I have to have a beautiful sunrise and be at the ocean and be here because that's also contingent on outside things so what is it that you and I can do to get our peace of mind now and to take that with us kind of like a turtle carries its shell everywhere and it has its home so what is it that we can do and I can do to maintain my peace of mind wherever I go and there's a few different tools I use um, I've found them like from my friends referring them or on the internet things like that and they're really awesome tools and that's what I share on my website is how to put these practices into place and you know what's working for me what doesn't work for me and it's all a journey we learn from each other and I know where I'm going and that is to be living as a financially free millionaire um, to make billions of dollars in my companies um, because I've changed the lives of so many people and I finally articulated last night like what's my big thing and it's being able to use my website and to teach yourself how to be an entrepreneur and also how to create your own freedom and peace of mind and be living that in your happiness and really it's like the idea of not having to work and in terms of work it's like there's nothing you have to do to get there you're already there you're taken care of you have enough money to take care of yourself your family to live your dreams and your amazing lifestyle that you want I want people as basically the only requirement is to have the internet if you have the internet like in Africa you can you know jump on and start learning these things and putting them into place and it's changing your life your world your happiness and this idea of world peace one mind at a time I truly believe because I wasn't at peace and things rocked me and now I've found a lot more peace um, and working to get more and more of that every day and maintain it and grow my happiness like there's also like my peace of mind is getting better though still there's like huge gaps and it's to work on my happiness level and you know as much as I want these outside goals and these monies it's not it's still not quite the same because you know or at least I hear people having so much money and they're still unhappy or you know how many celebrities do we hear that it like it looks like they got it all and yet they kill themselves because they're unhappy Robin Williams is a big like rock you know shaker for me and I was like wow so it's like to look at that and what is it that makes, what is your bliss and being able to, in my mind, it's this idea of financial freedom that I don't have to do anything, that I can already do and be and all of these things and it's not tied to that. And it's more than just the money, though I feel like have, money is tied to your time. So if you have your time, how do you choose to spend it? Hopefully not in misery. And that's when I realized I got my time and I was miserable. So, um, so working on happiness and money goals and creating your own life and having amazing relationships and people to share that with. And most importantly, the relationship with yourself 
and if you have like a higher power or presence, I just refer to it as the universe and this energy and knowing more consciously about these laws, like the law of attraction, being able to choose my thoughts and to get really clear on what I want. To use tools I've learned like visualization and screen of the mind and like, hey, this is the picture I want. This is where I'm going and I'm going to believe these things that I've heard like in Think and Grow Rich and all these like personal growth things so I'm gonna say and put to practice that this is where I'm going with that so if I close my eyes I visualize what I want I see my dream house I've seen it since high school that's what I'm still going for and being able to let go and know that not only is that house coming though this is what I was thinking about this morning it's really here like picture the fact that like if you close your eyes and I love this spot at the beach. I've been coming here to this spot for quite a while. So having this spot, I can close my eyes and I'm here. I can imagine I live at a different spot. I'm never going to live right on this spot. So I could be doing a zillion things. Like, you know, it scares me to think of like, oh, I, you know, I'm living on the mainland or something and I'm just visiting here. Though whatever the circumstances, this spot or if you go even bigger, just closing your eyes and breathing and imagining wherever you want to be, like that is timeless. So it doesn't matter what the external circumstances are that you have. It's just like, hey, this is what I say I want. And I want, I want to feel happy. I keep seeing my dang house. I just, I need my property on ocean front acreage in Hawaii and that's my spot I don't have to move ever <laughs> like that's my spot and if my kids want it that's their spot and their kids are spot and it's like we, I guess that's what I've been like you know, that's what financial freedom really is it's, it's a sense of belonging like that I can take care of myself but more than just take care of myself all the time and so I'm doing whatever it is I'm doing and I'm working towards my goals but at the same time I feel guilty and I feel like I'm selfish for wanting my goals and shouldn't I spend more time doing you know my kids' goals or this or that or the practical stuff and all these other things <sighs> not fun so anyway um, so I took these and looking at now it's the idea of self-centered and that I was always told was bad too. Like I'm very selfish and self-centered and think about myself. And then at the same time, I'm like, well, I looked at other people's examples who were, you know, working to make other people happy and doing what they thought the other people wanted. So it's like you're doing something so out of congruent with you and you're miserable. And so it's that idea of like it's a lose-win instead of a win-win. Like if you're not feeling good first and you go do something, you're already losing. So one of the things I do is like really work to get centered and self-centered and come from a place of being good. And when I'm good, then we can help the other person. And self-centered, selfish, whatever the label is, it's just working so that I cannot feel guilty for putting myself in my happiness first. And, you know, one of the big things like in parenting, I've struggled with the idea of, you know, putting my needs or my happiness first. Or like, I chose to live in Hawaii and that's my happy place, though my older daughter hates it. Like, she's a city girl and air conditioning and <laughs> like malls and that's her loves. So she's miserable out here. So it's like, well, at the same time, like, I don't want to like rearrange my life to go work on her happiness because she's miserable by the external circumstances of being here though then at the same time I'm happy because of the external circumstances here <laughs> so it's kind of you know it's a tough but the idea here is that I need to have my own happiness first because 
if I'm happy, the more happy I am, I'm actually able to share that with her. And our relationship has improved. So her dislike over living, you know, in this location has not improved, really. Though our relationship and being able to grow and her internal happiness and things have improved. So that's really cool. So And I feel like, you know, the the more happy I am, it definitely spills onto others. And, you know, that's the part of being self-centered that's super beneficial. And you have to put yourself in your happiness first because if you're miserable and even just smiling on the outside of yourself, that is not the energy to bring because you've already brought a loss into this relationship. So look for a win-win. It starts with yourself. And in that, it starts with your peace of mind and looking at, in that case, beliefs are a big thing, so what are the self-beliefs you hold about yourself, and then what are the beliefs that you hold and what have with others, I'm not sure, oh, I have to show you guys this, hold on, oh, I'm good with beliefs, I love the egrets, and they love to follow the lawnmowers, <laughs> because they get the bugs, so it's so cool, you always know where it's been freshly mowed grass, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, they're all over here because it's getting mowed. And here, oh, look at that. The tour boat's going out to go see the whales and the Nepali coast, which is pretty cool. And it's a beautiful, calm beach or ocean this morning. And yeah, nifty little spot. Let's see. Back there, that's the valley where the Jurassic Waterfalls is, and I did that for my birthday. It was so cool. I took a helicopter ride back there. Um, ooh, let's see, crashing waves. And then way over there, ah, that tall part there, that's the Waimea Canyon, the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. I actually went up there yesterday. Did some work right out on a cliff. It was pretty cool. And yeah, oh, this is a pretty cart. Look this. Let's see. Anyway, back to beliefs. I believed and got clear that I wanted to live in Kauai, and I love it. It's like everything came together. My three favorite types of animals doves, cats, and chickens. This abundant island is full of them. So, like, I was just feeding the chickens and put some bird seed out there this morning for them. Let's see. I like exploring for sure. I love sea turtles. This is a spot I can see sea turtles at some time floating. If they're out there, they usually like to hang right in this area. So anyway, finding your bliss. And for me, I shook things up and I put myself and my happiness first. And I was like, I'm going to be happy. And that intention honestly was enough to get me through. So I didn't know how or don't know where things are leading or the exact steps. I just know where my end result is. My end result is my dream property is right where that sunrise is and I will be living there. And to get clear, like if if this whole thing of time is everywhere, like I live here and I live there now. So to get very clear that this experience and I close my eyes and I can picture and I can feel that that's where my you know, I go wake up in the morning. This is over there instead of up on that hill. So it's not a huge shift, though it's an everything shift. And working with these goals, I believe it's possible. The frustrating part is, is that I don't get to be there like now. And I don't get the results quite as fast as I want to now. Whew. I realize I'm on this journey and it's been five years, almost. And that's scary. Wait, no, five years? struggling or all of that too long and that's not cool 
And that's what I am sharing with the world. I like the shortcuts. I like the faster way to go. You have to have a high teachability index, a willingness to learn, and a willingness to accept change. So two things, and the higher those are, and they really have to be a 10 out of 10 um, in order to be 100% teachable and coachable and get there. And I've had a huge willingness to learn. My journey is zigzagged all over the place, though. So, you know, as slow or fast or whatever you want to call it, the end thing is that I still, I wake up in the morning, I drop my daughter off at the bus, and I come here, and I'm so grateful, and I wouldn't change that, and so, you know, just being grateful for where you are, and acknowledging where you're going, and I know where I'm going, and I'm so excited to get there, so, uh, reach out connect and I feel like the more of us together we know where we're going and it's the financial freedom fighters and I don't like the term fighters because it's it indicates of a struggle though at the same time like it's you're fighting for what's right and that's financial freedom for everybody and this inner peace this inner glowing peace the ability to live where you want to live when you want to live there to be who you want to be when you want to be it to have what you want to have when you want to have it and to go wherever you want to go, whenever you want to go there. So true liberty, true peace of mind. Oh, and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. So connect with me and like, like, subscribe, the whole works. I want to really go someplace. Or you know what? I am going someplace. I know where I'm going. It's right over there. And I'm excited for all the amazing people I get to help on my journey to get there. Aloha.